Welcome to this old English cottage. I'm your host Catherine Kinney. Today we are going to zoom in and see the Time Cottage. It is home to Jennifer Time, her daughter, Bianca, son-in-law, Severus, and her grandchildren, Victoria, Donovan, and Sebastian. As we pass through the glass doors, we enter the family's main living space. On the mantel is a portrait of two of Hogwarts' greatest professors. The living is a painted off-white with maroon furniture. The coffee tables are heavy blue stone to contrast the maroon giving the room both a modern feel and cozy one. The dining room is accessed from the living room. It continues the modern atmosphere with a waterfall sculpture, glass top table complete with black and white furniture, family fish tank, and modern lights. The big picture that most grabs your attention is at Professor Severus Snape. Now we are passing into the kitchen from the dining room into our quaint kitchen. The room is painted in putrid green. The wooden surfaces are made from a combination of pine, cedar, and oak. The appliances are from Simtag. The stove is a fuel-efficient gas model with self-cleaning oven. The fridge has a cube-slash-crushed ice dispenser, water dispenser, and a vanilla chocolate twist ice cream dispenser. Once again we need to pass through our dining space to head up to the bedrooms. Notice the dark wood staircase. The wood according to research was recycled from an old Victorian-style home. It dates back to the early 20th century. At the top of our little landing we will make a right to head upstairs and take a peek at our five bedrooms and two baths. Our upstairs hallway acts as a gym slash library. The treadmill is a Simtax newest model. Not only does it record your pulse and blood pressure, but it can even assist the lazy bugs by moving their legs for them. The bookshelves have a selection of endless books, from cooking a traditional English dinner to weird muddle customs when riding the London Underground. The reading area is made up of two comfy maroon white checkered sofas with a matching wooden coffee table. The master bedroom belongs to Jennifer. This lilac violet plum dream room is complete with white bath bed. Two white service trays used as nightstands, a white sofa, a painted white wooden desk with rose accents, and a matching white bureau. The plum drapes are great for allowing the light to shine in and still give a hint of privacy. The small bathroom is next to the master bedroom. It is done in a splash of black and white. The curtains are accents to make the room more of a country bath than a modern London powder room. The next bedroom is that of Victoria Smith. The room's theme is simple pink rose. Notice the painted portrait of her face. Her bed is light pink brass with the light pink canopy. As we grace by the bed you can see she has pride for her house, rave and law. The book self in her room is both fun and functional. She has her potions book hidden among her fairy tales. Before we enter Donovan's room, you will see the family's hallway study has two computers. All computers in this house are equipped with the newest software including Windows Stellar Edition. Donovan's room is done as light blue to show pride for his house rave and law. The portrait of Donovan was painted by a mysterious woman named Melody. Donovan loves to study so our two bookshelves are hung over his desk to help him store books. To help with his vast book collection there is also a bookcase that rests upon the wall between his desk and his bed. Sebastian's room is a bird and striped wallpaper with grey striped drape. On the wall near his portrait are the Gryffindor flags which he proudly displays. His desk houses his school books along with a few of his strategy guides, comic books, and some unmentionable magazines. The bunk bed was put in for his occasional sleep of a guest like Romulus or brother who has been displaced by visiting relatives. The final bedroom belongs to Severus Snape and his wife, Bianca Time. The room is ultra-modern decorated in black and white to give it a darker tone, yet keeping it light for the woman of the house. A true compromise. On the wall of their side of the room, you will notice the banners for their particular houses. Even the heads of houses show pride at home. As we turn around we can see the couple's computer. No doubt it has potions rather than recipes stored on its memory bank. Of course what married couple's room would be incomplete without a portrait from their special day.
This is the biggest of the bathrooms. It has both a shower and bath to give the residents our choice. The prettiest feature is the rose window, which can be found in the hallway in the snake's bedroom. Now it's time to leave the upstairs area to head downstairs to look at our final rooms. Again we will pass through our dining room to enter the family room. The family room is the most fun room at the house. It is the room which you will most certainly find occupants Bastian Snape hanging out in. The room has a 1970s feel to it with faux plywood walls and shag carpet. In here you will find that family's 40-inch plasma screen TV with Xbox Supreme. Of course to keep the retro look, there is our 1970s pinball machine to accent the room. This is the family two-car garage. It's a half flight down to the car deck area. The top area is used for indoor garden giving the room a welcoming appeal. Here you will find an authentic English car topped with the flag, and for those of you who enjoy a ride, nothing beats a hot rod. Alas we're coming to our final stop, the backyard. Here we find the family enjoying the great outdoors. And what's not to love with the beautiful pond, garden furniture, trampoline, and gazebo. I hope you enjoyed our tour. For this old English cottage, I'm your host Catherine Kinney.